outside. I can stop shouting now. But it's healing. And we are playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. For the first time in forever, Jake is not at school today or tomorrow. And I'm cooking dinner tonight. He's making pizza. The rain just started randomly. <laughs> it was like so bright and sunny. Grey clouds came over. We were just sat over there and then... <laughs> Basically. Okay. Ready to listen to how noisy this is? Oh. <laughs> that worked. Well, it's not that noisy anymore. It's still loud. Not that loud. Guys, so um, cooking with Leo and Jamie. Expect the kitchen to explode. Yeah, basically. Which try to get that stick of onions. Onions. Try to move the. So you have. To, I'm moving the onions onto this plate, with, where I'm going to keep all of the ingredients. Well, if you put all the ingredients on there, it'll taste like onion because the onions are everywhere. Yes, do that for Alright, so we've got everything prepared now. Yes. But we need to wait for them to get back. So, so pepperoni. I don't want this, but I want pepperoni. I don't want this, and I don't want this. Right. But I want that, that. So, seeing as I'm the chef, I'll have mine last. So. <laughs> Take away 10. <laughs> Dang you. She's making t um, cheese bits. Ham pizzas. <laughs> Ham pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so um, now, seeing as all this vlog is short, we're going to do, well, I'm going to do a top five. Favourite video games? Personal opinions. And if you're offended by personal opinions, click off this video now. No, don't stay. Please, please. Anyway, on to the list. With number five being Minecraft. And the reason why I put Minecraft, Minecraft, at number five is because whilst it is an imaginative, <laughs> an imaginative game and imaginative ideas and mods have been made for it it's not exactly that cherry on the top of things there is limits to the game so that will bring us into the next option number option <laughs> next num next list i don't know how to explain it next participant i'll just say that for now <laughs> we'll move on to the next game which is undertale going from 3D to 2D here, but Until, sorry about that, is one of my favourite games, but it's not number one. It's number four, because even though it does break the fourth wall, mainly Sans, and the, most of the, well, most of the characters know that you're resetting over the game, it's not exactly the most intriguing of games, which you don't, which you don't exactly have full control over. You can't change things in the environment. And well, this brings me on to number three, which is Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare series. The reason why I've chose this as number three is because it's basically Call of Duty for children. <laughs> it's plants and zombies fighting, going around the town, going around towns, plants trying to keep their gardens, zombies try and take over the gardens. Yeah, if you've played Plants vs Zombies, you know what I'm on about, and I'm pretty sure everybody's at least seen someone play. So, just a question out of breath. <laughs> on to number two. That sounded weird. I am choosing the Family Freddy's franchise. Family Freddy's 1, 2 sister location, including Family Freddy's World, because everybody likes a horror game, and Family Freddy's just has that horror feeling like it's a horror game done well it's a 2d horror game that looks 3d 
about in this location it is 3D but other games it's 2D in like a 3D environment which is really cool and it just it's so smooth to play and we should do a gameplay on that sooner or later but but if you like horror a lot then play other games like other horror games it's not that extreme SCP Containment Breach that is such a good game but I'm getting off topic here let's move on to number one and if you know me personally everybody was expecting this the Pokemon franchise shut up you <laughs> main reason because well it's Pokemon Just, that's my reason <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> because you get to go around this huge region well technically seven regions catching whatever Pokemon you wish and how many do I have uh, I'm just gonna go off the top of my head right now I think I have 10, maybe 12 Pokemon games. Three installed onto my DS, four installed on my DS, and the others as a game form. But that's for this top five. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. This week's already been an outro. <laughs> but smash the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit the bell for some notifications. And also, can we please reach at least five likes for this video to carry on this top five top slash top ten list thing for future videos as we've got a very tight schedule lately. But if you would do that, I am eternally grateful to you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! What do you think? Too much.